New York 25, Indiana 23. And the fast break has been working for the Knicks so far. Well, one of the things about the new look New York Knicks is that everyone thinks that this is a new philosophy, and really what it is is a throwback to uh, an old basketball philosophy. Score before the defense can get set up, and that's what New York is able to do with that small, quick lineup. And if they can attack and stay in that boat, uh, they have a big advantage against the Indiana Pacers, who are concerned about transition defense. The, the nice thing about what the Knicks have been doing with this quickness advantage that they have is that they're anticipating the plays while the Van Gundy is trying to get everybody thinking the game of basketball as opposed to reacting it's been the Knicks who have clearly been the superior team in the opening moments here but while Ewing gave New York its biggest lead nine points of 45 seconds left in the first the Knicks have gone almost three minutes without scoring and Indiana has scored seven in a row Reggie Miller continues on the Indiana bench with two early fouls loose ball foul against Antonio Davis gives it to New York well that's because the second unit of the Pacers has come in and made the Knicks set up and they have not been able to get a score and in order for these guys to be effective they've got a move ball move people Johnson over they can see the three-point shots and LJ can't hit it saved by Camby but out of bounds to Indiana the Pacers are getting pushed underneath the basket they're getting outworked Guys are jumping over their backs. And that is not Larry Bird basketball. When he starts chewing on that thumb, as we've seen him all day today, you know he's very, very serious for claiming this a must-win series for the franchise. But he's only down two, and Miller has barely played. But they don't have any sort of control of the game. Antonio Davis fouled by Dudley, number two on Chris. Well, they do have control in that they have slowed the game down. They have made it a half-court basketball game again in which their big people, Antonio Davis, Dale Davis, maybe Rick Smith can get in and have an impact. Antonio Davis making a, a living at the free throw line here early in the game. Tomorrow, celebrate Memorial Day with the NBA on NBC. 5 Eastern, NBA Showtime chips off the NBA playoff action. And following Showtime, Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals chips off at 5.30 Eastern, the Trailblazers and the Spurs. A Memorial Day NBA playoff special, Showtime, followed by Game 2 in the West, starting at 5 Eastern tomorrow on NBC. Yeah, it took him 47 minutes to figure out to put David Robinson on Rasheed Wallace yesterday. Do you think he might start the game that way tomorrow? <laughs> we got a halftime feature uh, coming up on Rasheed Wallace from the Showtime studio. Maybe they asked him that. <laughs> One point New York lead. Larry Johnson backing down Antonio Davis. Now facing him up. Ewing just back off the bench. Antonio Davis way up for the rebound. Now this is typical between both teams where they run into those drops and they can't score the ball. The Knicks are shooting over the top of the defense of the Indiana Pacers. Big smooth working inside. Canby blocked it. McKee tried to save it. It'll be well a conference. Blue ball. Bernie Fryer and Hugh Evans going to talk it over and the ball will be given to New York. This is a terrific effort by Camby. This is where he's really very good uh, in shutting down the middle. When he's off the ball, he'll react. Long arms, quick, quick legs. They're going to get a foul. Travis Best. Well, we mentioned Travis Best plagued throughout the playoffs in the Pacers series against both Milwaukee and Philadelphia by fouls. Fouled out of one of those games. Nick should come back to Sprewell here. Sprewell posting Rose. This is a tough situation for Sprewell. He's got to make something up on his own. He's not going to be able to get those shots consistently over Jalen Rose. Looking to Rose. Oh. Hamby swats the attempted lob into the cheap seats. The more we see Marcus Camby play, the better he gets in all the little things today. Not putting up huge numbers. That hasn't really changed the numbers since the playoffs started. But his impact on the game huge. Still not a field goal scored in this second quarter. Indiana's 0 for 3. New York is 0 for 6. Rose, finally. Jalen Rose has given Indiana the lead. 10-0 run by the Pacers. 
Greywell. Block by Antonio Davis. Rose saves it to Best. Best spins. McKee can't finish it. Now, this place was just about to <laughs> erupt, but again, it's the defense of the Indiana Pacers that's keeping the Knicks in a half-court set. And when they're in a half-court set, they struggle to score, working to Ewing against Davis. Short fall away by Patrick Ewing, who worked Davis all the way down. Tough to miss when you get the ball that close and are able to get even closer. Stops a 10-0 Indiana run. And that hoop puts the Knicks back on top, and that's the first basket they've scored here in the second second quarter. Tom, that's a lot more difficult shot than that. <laughs> that Ewing made it's Jalen Rose starting to make runners in the lane that's a very good sign for Bird Childs against Best Childs calls for a timeout and gets it Travis Best was all over Chris Childs nearly had the steal 22nd as we take a look back at the little pork shop that uh, <laughs> Jalen Rose delivered on the way to the hoop. A punishing blow. Well, a little pork shop. We'll ponder that as we take a break from Indiana. 